The young person coming into a salon today, I think it's a, it's a new day in the beauty business. It really is. And, and I think in society in general, and I, I think the biggest challenge we have today with, with the youth that's coming into the business is the expectations of how to get there fast. When you look at the millennials right now, everything in their life has been achieved fast. Whether it was heating up their food that got too cold, a microwave. Whether it be switching channels if they were a remote control. Everything was fast. And, and that, that's not going to change. So the whole velocity of thought processing it is, is phenomenal because there's a lot of things you can do to do that. Headdressing is not one of them. So there's a little bit of a natural disconnect of, of somebody coming into this business and a, re a realistic expectation of how to get from point A to point B. But getting there is one thing. Getting there in a time element that seems to be acceptable is the biggest challenge I think salon owners have today. So the best advice I have is sharing that with them. But the other thing I really look them in the eye and say, listen, this is your career. This is your life. We'll offer you that opportunity. But don't let anyone or anything get in the way, whether it be in your head or on your path, that stops you from living that dream out. And it might mean extra hair shows, it might mean extra classes, extra work hours, but there's no such thing as a free lunch. And I think overall we, we are getting into a society where, you know, kids getting trophies for coming to seventh place today because nobody wants, they all want to be politically correct and not hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want my kid to get a trophy for seventh place. If you didn't come in first, second, or third, go home and practice till next season and then earn a trophy. Set your mind on your dream, figure out what it takes to get there, reverse engineer it out, take it day by day, week by week, month by month, and eventually you're gonna get there and say, wow, how'd that happen? It happened because you did the right things for the right reasons daily and you didn't let nobody get in your way.